Welcome back to Kentucky Mountain Vlogs. Today, I built, actually, this week, I built a giant crossbow out of my homemade bows, and I took a stick, and I've tried about, actually, this is the first design. First design was using my re, my good hand-carved recurve, which, I, this isn't the original string. I broke the string. This is my second one, the first video I made. This is the bow, second bow. And then what I did was the string. I've been using these inner strings, the paracord, to pull it, to tighten it. And then that cut my string in half. And I had to put a D loop, which you don't know what that is. It's a little notch right there to hold the, to clip it. So normally your crossbow arrows are only a couple, like a foot or foot and a half. I don't really, I'm not a crossbow person, but I'm, I built one. And this is my old arrow that I didn't trust with my good bow. So if you can see this right here, it's a 28 inch arrow. This is where you, the this nail here is where I put it from. That's how far it gets, and that is a little bit over 30 inches length. So also put these nails here to hold the arrow. And this is how you load it. Got to put a glove on because it. Touch your fingers. Not the fastest thing to load, but I went through I think it was like thirty pages, thirty something pages through a little book. I put this carabiner here because it was cutting my D loop every time I would reload it. I could barely get a shot out before it cut it again. And this is how you do it. I forgot. was loaded but what I forgot is I had these nails here I was trying to keep it straight but that didn't work so what I'm doing is I'm going to pull this up give me a nail in there hold it and now I can tie it Load me a bolt. This is my first shot with it. Reese, well, not a long time, but just a, a little bit. I'm gonna get my homemade tripod, which is just a random PVC pipe laying in the middle of the yard. Make sure my camera's still working. It's not working, so I want to go with my original tripod. There's the big Zakudo. They clear him. But no baby chicken. Also, we had some baby chickens a couple of weeks ago, and this is little fuzzy feet, which is like cushion or silky. They're on their own now. But let's set this camera here. I mean, I mean. Aiming somewhere in there. The baby chickens like follow me around. Pull my safety out. Aiming. 
trigger. So you can see it. Thumbnail. Now, this is how you gotta shoot it. Oh, that's what it is. Only thing shoots like crazy, but. Look at it, I'm not sure. <sighs> Tighten it up about 20 pounds. No, baby. Also, that little blue box over there is a beehive. I didn't bring my glove. But now, it's a long process of reloading it. I don't want to get wrapped up in the string. See, it's good. Now let's see where that landed. This is where I was aiming. That my the head of my 3D target. Where'd this go? Oh, there it is. Make sure there ain't no snakes. I hate snakes. I really do. I just go check on the beehive. I almost got hit by one. That's the bees. I got stung by them. They got on my bee suit. They stung me right on the tip of my finger. My, I don't know what happened. My camera after that last video, it just went bad. Trying to get worked on. Just waiting on the company. Okay. My car's almost full and my camera's questionable, so I'm just going to try to reload this off camera. Okay, after getting that loaded and running a chicken off, did not take as long as I thought. But, I think this might be my last shot. Oh, I had to take my D loop. Oh, actually, I didn't take it off it. Oh, my. Here, curry beaner came off itself. I now know why it's turning. Because if you realize this, while it's while it's not strong, right here's the center of the string. So I pull it back there, it's actually centered. So let's go up here. That's why it's going whoosh. And also that's why I stopped using the arrows because it go whoosh. See, there it is. Oh, are you kidding me? It was right there. It's less than, uh, it's probably two inches away. It has a tip. I've been shooting up one without a tip. I would do distance, but I know this thing will go super far. So, I'm going to load it up this time and try to get it on that one spot. And every time I go to try to shoot, these little baby chickies go. So I go, go that way, little baby. Okay, now they're clear. Don't drop my camera again. Last shot. I think I got it now. And I got a tripod. A monopod, technically term. 
Also, I have wood holding my knife together. I lost a screw blackberry picking. Like playing the violin, you go ding, 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 ding. That shot straighter. Now let's go see where this hit. We know where it hit, but oh, that's not bad. I was aiming here, not good, but this is where it hit, and it goes in pretty far. I'm actually gonna step up a few, 20 feet, and shoot it. We're hoping there aren't mostly hens, but we don't know. Our count of chickens, I think is 18, 19, no, 19 regular ones out. We got three roosters, four roosters. So, we got a lot of chickens now. I know there's people like, oh yeah, that's 20 chickens, that's not much. Good news for us. I think. I remember the cat we used to have, but. I make a whole bunch of homemade things. Two reasons. It's fun to make stuff and cheap. I don't know where I hit it. Boy, scared me. Because if you're going. <laughs> You do not know when it's going to go off. I'm out of breath. My bow is only 40 pounds, I think. And this... It's about 60. Let's just say that. I need to work out more. Whew. I'm just going to do this right here. Good. Slow, slow mo. Oh, this is what I'm using as a tripod. Oh, my hands hurt. Also, three, two, one. Oh crap. Oh. Okay, there's wasps in there. Wasps! Awesome happens.